I mean, what's the lead? Oh, uh, like what's see. really deep down? You're putting this thing together, and you're going inverted pyramid style. Mm -hmm. What's the lead? Well, I always thought that if you're not sure what the lead is, it's, it's the probably Cardinals. the Cardinals. There it is. Yeah, it's Doug Vaughn's mm -hmm. first commandment. How about Paul Goldschmidt on being a free agent next season? We got the sound. Here it is. Oh, I'd love to hear it. I think as a player, you just got to focus on trying to play well and prepare for this season, and so that's where it's at. Uh, you know, last year the results were not what we wanted. That was very obvious. So I think for me, is this whole entire off season was just trying to get better and. Um, help the guys around me, and same with this spring training. And if we can go have a good year, you know, things will take care of themselves. But, you know, whatever happens in the future is going to happen. But what we can control is right now in the present and just trying to play well and um, try to help this team win and, and bring another championship back here to St. Louis. Okay, not a lot there. Milk toast. Yeah. Not a lot there. Not a lot but of that's the free agency has. Here, hit the high notes. Cardinal yeah. Red, World Series, going to get better, going to play this season out. I don't think we would have expected him to say, yeah. I'm not really worried about this season. I'm just thinking about free right. agency. We can't wait for Paul Goldschmidt. And that actually might be the way he actually does think. He's one of the rare guys who might actually fall into the category of thinking that way. You know? yeah. But when I saw that thing and I read it on Friday with the Athletics projection for his extension of four years, I was like, ooh. Yeah, that, that won't happen here. God's but... name. God, if they announce that. Hey, good morning, boys. How are you? We're fine. Wonderful, you? wonderful. Yes, yes. Oh, doing great. Doing great. I, I heard Iggy ask what I did this weekend, so I thought I'd, I'd call in. and. Just, oh, nice, uh, Doug. Everybody's going to call in and tell us what they did. We'd love to hear it. Yeah, it, it was not uh, too uh, terribly exciting. I, uh, Unlike Iggy, I, I did enjoy the uh, NBC tournament this weekend. So uh, good. I, went I went Thursday night, I went Friday, and I went yesterday. Nice. Nice. Yeah. That's a, fun a buddy of mine's uh, son plays for SIU Carbondale. So we went to watch him and cheer him on. Of course, they they did not come up with successful, so they were bounced. Uh, went back on Friday. Then yesterday, the recovering alcoholic from Bell Bell and Webster Groves was kind enough to shoot me a couple uh, all inclusive seats to uh, the Bull Up Bear Club. Yeah, that's Can't nice up there, isn't it? Really nice. Good food, free drinks. Had some vodka. Had some beer. Yeah, a lot of leg room. A lot of leg room. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's uh, looks nice up there. Yeah, it really is. It's nice. Up he there. took care of me on Thursday. I, I, yeah. I was so busy though; I didn't have time to post any pictures of myself in a speedo. Oh. So I'll, I'll, I'll work. I'll work on that this week. You guys would love to see that. Mm -hmm. Could you do that sometime? Maybe today? Maybe? Maybe this morning? Well, we, we can look at well, it. I'm going to come lunch today. I'll, I'll run the bathroom and put my speedo on, and take a picture for you, and and post it, and say I don't. No, no one believes me. I've only had 500. <laughs> <laughs> Man, so, he's taking a hell of a shot. You don't, I, you don't I know, enjoy those posts? I know, a lot about, I know a lot about attention whoring, and it's great. Oh, oh God. God. Mm. Oh, 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 oh. This is loaded for bear early on. <laughs> oh, Iggy, you have nothing to say in your defense? What do you want me to say? I, I don't know. I thought he's, you'd address he's it. He's entitled to his opinions. Oh. Well, I like that. Something, something I don't need to do is attention whore myself out. I think people know who I am. I don't need to, hey, look at me. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> Jesus. I'd rather get a breakdown of the Blues East Coast Swing than listen to the Love Handle Clan. The Love Handle Clan. <laughs> Is that us? <laughs> no, I think that's the Trash listeners. local establishments. Also, Eric's a stupid name. Thanks. Hey. That's from Endless Summer Jeff, the vice president of Florida. <laughs> <laughs> He's a vice president of That's Florida. a nice title. I'd love to be vice president of Missouri. Just how do Every you state should have their own president. How about that? <laughs> Every state should have their own president and vice president. Well, Doug, how about do. Wright's Tea? Thanks, that's from Aunt Peg. I have not dined there. No. I am so pro St. Louis restaurant dining scene. It's Are insane. You? I think we have some of the best restaurants. And I've traveled enough. You're a well-traveled, you're a man Enough of letters. well-traveled. I've been to a lot of states, a lot of areas mm. to, to dine, and St. Louis is fantastic. They have so many great options. A lot of it is about, <clears throat> just about knowing where to go. Because whatever city you go to, even small, mid-sized towns, they've all got the same chain restaurants, and you usually see them because they're right on the highways and the main streets. But just like Louis, unless you were from here and really knew where to go, you might you'll you'd never find make it. Make sure you put. Uh, I thought you were doing it, but if KG's doing it, can you make sure that Florida Flower has a spot? <laughs> Why? Because I said I would save him a spot because he's tried to play the last three years and he's not on social media every day and he's not on the fan page. And who is that? Can, I don't know who else could spend as much time on there as some of these people do. 
But if you're not on the <laughs> fan page, how do you know? No, but if you're not on the fan page for like three days, and t and Tim or KG post it, who wants to play and he doesn't see it, and then it fills up by the time he gets there. So just can you please save him a spot this year? Just put KG or put uh, Florida Flower as uh, one of the participants. Thank you. Well, who's supposed to do that? I guess KG's doing it now. Oh. That's a tough job. Yeah, oh boy, it is. I remember I just handed happen. my card to just this dude in a black shirt and said he was part of Gateway. And I said, mm -hmm. okay. I will be there, you dolts. That's from Mr. Licks. Wow, he's going to be there. Oh, you say that now. We're two months away. Not really. Well, a month and a half. Uh, I'll take it up with the committee, KG No Town said. No, you don't have to take it up. I'm just telling you to give him a spot. <laughs> well, you can't tell him what to do. <laughs> well, I can. Okay. No, you can't. Come on now. I'm not so much telling him what to do. He's, he's running this thing. I would be telling. I would ask Tim to do it too, but Tim's not doing it anymore. Right. It doesn't sound like you're asking. You're just like, <laughs> it seems like a miss on Tim's part. Well, he said I'll check it out with the committee. There's no committee. <laughs> you're doing it, so you put it up there, and there's, you know, we put spots away for other people. Just I don't know how you're going to do it if you do it like <laughs> Tim did. You post on the fan page and say, you know, okay, this is it. We're starting a, you know. Let us know if you're playing again this year. If you played last year, say you're in or not. Just put put Florida Flower in there. I He's guess one maybe Cagey doesn't want to put him in. I'll do what you want then. I'm just asking if you can do <laughs> okay. that. Okay. 10% crestfallen. <laughs> Isn't the quote, we put spots away in the Fan Page Club Championship for other people, end quote, typically reserved for sponsors? Not sure how Cletus's side piece falls into that category. Oh. That's glove blogger Tom Traven. Well, that's, we. a, that's a good yeah, point. I, I don't know you worked here. It was a good point, though. Don't we usually put out? You put nothing. You, hey. <laughs> there's no we involved. Well, don't get upset there's with him. He considers himself flush. part of the show. Right, well, <laughs> you know, give, him, give him my spot. You're out? You're bowing out? Well, if he's not going to do it, <laughs> if KG's not going to give him a spot... When I asked you to, and he asked me a week ago, could you please save me a spot? I'm not on the fan page all the time, and I always miss it. And then we're always at the end of the thing. Okay, we got three openings. Uh, two people canceled. We got two openings. Just give him one. Oh. Well, it'll be interesting to see how this plays out. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> uh, Doug, what a Jim Dandy it was on Saturday night oh. as the doggies really dominated play. But they had to fight to get a point in Austin with a goal during extra time. Here it is, Joey Zanaboni's call of the equalizer lights okay. in Texas. All right, let's hear it. Ostrock, thread down, Totland into the area, into the end line. He chips across, back, just to the back of the box. Pompey who fires a shot. He's he scores! scores! Oh, yeah! baby! He's the man! Third minute! Sergio Pompeo ties and it deuces! Oh, blasting things like he's binging Baja beverages from Taco Bell. <laughs> oh. That was like a Vin Scoy. <laughs> he delivery. went into a whole different voice. <laughs> I thought it was a cut. I thought it was yeah. another. Would that be Paola? <laughs> I love how the I love how like they both get so excited. There's like, who's his uh, broadcast partner? I don't know. Some guy uh, named Dale. Yeah, no, the, <laughs> yeah, uh, the guy who emails in. <laughs> no, the analyst is yelling goal. I just know his name's Dale. I think he's like a former coach or player. They both. <laughs> I don't know why they load Bill. that in, but it's so good. <laughs> but I, I was watching the the coverage of the trade deadline there on NHL.com. I guess it is the NHL Network. And there were a lot of players moved, and inevitably it was pretty good players traded for not very much. Yeah, it was a it was a buyer's market. Yeah, they were getting fourth, fifth round draft picks, third picks for guys that are going to step right in and be a, you know, maybe a second line forward or something. If that's the case, I'm not sure I'd trade either. Yep. Those late draft picks, they usually don't even make the league. I uh, I was very hopeful they would make moves, but when I saw the prices, I thought, oh, this might not be... Because they don't need to move Buchnevich. This wasn't an O'Reilly, Tarasenko, Barbashev, yeah. unrestricted free agent situation. Buchnevich is here for another year, and he's a pretty good value for what they're paying him. So, uh, And we'll see what they wind up doing over the summer with the, with the draft. But uh, if the prices weren't there, then, you know, don't just give them away. Yeah.
And I'm, I think that's what they were faced with. And it doesn't, doesn't make any sense to give him away. Either you keep him and take another good run with him next year and maybe you get in the playoffs, or you trade him in the offseason and you do get something of value. There's no point giving him away now. Uh, last night, Doug, we had the Academy Awards. Uh, Jackson, uh, your overall thoughts before we play some of the audience. That was a good Oscars. Uh, do great. you agree with the selections? This uh, is our, you know, he owns goodorbad.com. Mm -hmm. I'm the lead investor. Yeah, I mean, based on the, the nominations, I think everything was kind of went to what I thought was Were you not happy with the nominations? Uh, yeah, I mean, Greta Gerwig not being nominated for Best Director for Barbie mm -hmm. and Margot being left off is... Is baloney, but no. I got to do. Uh, Emma Stone winning lead actress was surprising. But who who do you think was going to win? Willie Gladstone for Killers of the Flower Moon. But it kind of seemed like she thought that as well, based on her acceptance speech. She seemed a little surprised, but I love Emma Stone. so and she Her dress great. broke. Yeah, and she was great. She was deserving, don't get me wrong. No. 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 Um, but yeah, good Oscars. I thought about when I like them starting an hour earlier, so I don't have to go to bed. I forgot super that late. they started earlier. I turned on eight o'clock and it was already an hour old. I thought yeah. it, I thought it was a nice touch that, that they had some of the former winners come out. And really loved that. Yeah, I like that too. I, I that was, enjoyed that. I that was nice. Really liked that yeah, for yeah. both uh, lead actor and lead actress. I thought that was really great. Mm -hmm. And I like the the new way they're uh, announcing the best picture. Uh, they kind of <laughs> surprise you. Take no, a listen. Part. I don't know. It's Al Pacino, oh. Doug. <laughs> it's really funny. Actually. That part didn't go that well. Only one will take the award for Best Picture. And uh, I have to go to the envelope for that. And I will. Here it comes. <laughs> and my eyes see Oppenheimer. Yes. Uh, here's our uh, guy who was on a heater until the skid was, uh, or the streak was stopped. Hey guys, want to know how to bring a heartfelt conversation about honoring American heroes like doctors who performed a life-saving procedure and firefighters who bravely pulled families from burning buildings to a devastatingly and mind-numbling screeching halt? Well, hold on. Let me check my phone because I want to get this <laughs> Netflix documentary's name right. That wasn't even tied into that. <laughs> Scotty something. Well, Walter Pigeon. Something about gays and bisexuals in Hollywood at a gas station. Again, I want to make sure I get this right. It's like he's actively trying at this point to completely kill off the show that has paid him $400 a month stipend to support his OnlyFans leaks addiction and his desire to, for some reason, pay for dueling Amazon accounts. If you watch real closely, about halfway through the conversation, that in some countries would be considered a war crime for its torturous nature, Tim took his hat and headphones off and begrudgingly rubbed his luscious, freshly shorn head in dismay, wondering if he'd be better off hosting four hours of balloon party or having Vinny Favorito or Jorge De Jesus Ortiz. He's calling. <laughs> Save me a spot in the fan page club championship, please. I'm not on the fan page. People are on their phones too much. Everywhere I go, like my house or the store, or my house. Phones, phones, phones. Now, if you'll excuse me, there's some girls I saw on Facebook that I guarantee have some leaks, and this old wrinkle anteater ain't gonna milk itself. That's God. some second floor at Pop Pops getting shoulder rubs. Blueberry Pop Pop. Blueberry Pop Pop. Milking oh. an anteater is such a terrible I don't like guy. that. 